This video is about paper. Did you know there's a beautiful piece of math involved in every sheet of paper? In the world there are two major standards regarding paper size. First there's ISO 216, or more commonly known as the A-series, as in A4, A5, A6. This system is used all over the world, with some exceptions, the main being the United States of America. They, as usual, have their own standard, US Ladder. The standard US Ladder has a size of 8.5 by 11 inches, or 216 by 279 millimeters. It has an aspect ratio of 1.291. The origin of this format is pretty vague and mostly lost in history, and Wikipedia says, the 11 inch length is about a quarter of the average maximum stretch of an experienced fatman's arm. So... Yeah... Basically US letter is a standard because it became a standard. Don't ask questions, just deal with it. Now on to ISO 216, the A standard. This standard is mostly known for the European letter format A4. It is 210 by 297 mm and it has an aspect ratio of 1.414 which is the square root of 2. Woohoo! Mad! This square root of 2 isn't a coincidence, of course. It was first noted by the German scientist called Greg Christoph Lichtenberg in 1786. But the magic ratio was probably known a lot longer. The square root of 2 has a magical property that makes ISO 216 far superior over US letter. Let me explain. The property A4 paper has is that it consists of exactly two A5 papers side by side. In turn, these two A4 papers make up a larger A3 paper. This makes it very easy for example to make a booklet in A5 paper consisting of A4 papers turned sideways and folded. If you scale up documents in A5, they will exactly fit A4 paper. And if you shrink an A3 image, it will exactly fit A4 and A5 paper. If you want to use a copier and print two A5 pages on a single sheet of A4 paper, go ahead. It all works out thanks to math. This is impossible to do with US letter because you end up with unprinted white area or stretched documents. Aww. So how does this work mathematically? Well, given a paper with sides A and B, if we fold it we'll end up with two papers that has the size B by half an A. How do we calculate the new aspect ratio? Well. The aspect ratio of this new paper is B by half an A, which can be rewritten as 2 divided by A divided by B. This is useful because A divided by B is our old aspect ratio. So now we can plug in the old aspect ratio and calculate the new one. So for A4 paper we have an aspect ratio of the square root of 2. So we divide 2 by the square root of 2 and we get the square root of 2. Magic! Just look at the table, there are some little rounding errors due to the whole millimeters, but overall it stays pretty close to the square root of 2. So what happens when we do the same for US letter? Well, the aspect ratio of US letter is 1.291. So we divide 2 by 1.291 and we get 1.549. Yuck. And this keeps on happening when we keep folding the US letter. Oh. Oh God! So dear Mr. Trump, do you want to make America great again? Adopt ISO 216. Oh, and while you're at it, check out the metric system. And now you know.